Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a basic leveling system in your game. So in this example, I've built right here, I have these little slime entities, and they basically have like your health, max health, whatever values, and then I've also added an experience property. And the idea is that we want to be able to plug in a set experience, and then they will basically adapt to that and return their level. So in this specific example, when I run the game, they will set up their level um, to display right next to the health bar. And currently, if I set it to 25 experience, that will be level one. I'm gonna set the next slime to 225 experience. That is level two. And 625 experience, and that will be level three. So if we run the game, this will obviously set up the correct levels accordingly. So let's get right into it. I'm going to delete what I have set up here and then we will walk through it. Okay, so we now have a blank game template. Now the idea here is that I have my entity, which is a slime. You can set up the visuals however you want, obviously. And then I've made a health bar component, which basically just stores the health how you typically would in a progress bar. And then we have a label, which is representing the level. So in my slime script, I've essentially just exported a reference to my health bar and my label. And then if I click on the slime in the editor, I can assign the health bar to a progress bar and the label to our level label. Now I've also exported these three variables at the top. This is going to be the health, the max health, and the experience. Now in a more organized setting, you'd want to make a stats resource and basically contain all of these properties in like a stats component. But for the sake of this video, I've just made it very simple. Now for the experience, when the game starts, we want to calculate our level and then we can set the text of our level label to that level. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to have an auto load, which is a singleton in Godot. And that will basically store a function to calculate the level based on our provided experience. So the way we're gonna do that is go into your scripts folder and I'm gonna make a new script. We're just gonna call it math. And this script is just going to be an auto load. So go into your project settings to the auto load tab. And then we're going to load in that script make sure the name is correct, and then add it as a singleton. Now inside of this script, we can create our method. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna call it function calculate level from XP. And then this will require our experience. And we're gonna make this a float. And then this method is going to return an int. Now, the first thing we wanna do is define our level, and then we need to do a simple check and then we can return it. So the formula is going to be var level, and we're gonna set it equal to square roots of experience. And then we want to divide this by our base level XP. So to get the same behavior as I just demonstrated in the video, we are going to define a constant for this, and we're just gonna set the base XP to 100. So the constant is gonna be called base level XP, and we're gonna set it equal to 100.0, and then we just divide experience by this constant. And now after this, we just want to offset the entire curve by 0.5. And this way, this is going to fix a couple issues with rounding the experience down. Um, you just wanna offset the curve so that we're always returning a correct level because you wanna start at level one and then go up from there. So the next thing we wanna check is if the level is smaller than one, then we're going to just set the level equal to one. And then after we do this check, we just want to return floor of level. And this is going to make sure that we're rounding the level down so that if we have an experience value of 200 maybe, then we're gonna basically have like a float of one point something. So we want to round that down to one so that we always have an integer value as the level. Now, once you have this method defined, we can just call it from the math auto load. So I'm gonna go back into my entity script. And when we start out the game, I want to set up our level. So you might wanna use your level in different areas in your script. 
So for this, I'm basically going to make a variable globally, and we're going to call this level, and I will set it equal to one. And then when we're ready, we're going to set this correctly. So we're going to say level is equal to math dot calculate level from experience. And then we simply pass in our experience property here. And then we can actually assign the text of the label as well. So after we set up our health bar, we can just set up the level label as well. So we'll say level label dot text is equal to string of level. Now, if we run our game, we should see all of their level adapts correctly to their experience. Now, I also wanted to give another example, and that is changing entity stats over the course of their leveling. So in a typical game, if you are level one, maybe you have an attack power of maybe like 100 or something, but then at level 99, you want to set that attack power to a much larger value, and that kind of simulates the the player or the enemy getting stronger depending on how high of a level they are. And you can basically do this with a simple multiplier value. So the way I would do this is essentially setting a attack power curve or something, and then you would sample the curve based on the level. And obviously, if you used a physical curve resource, then you'd want the level to cap at something like 99 or whatever. But this is a good way to do it, and then you can simply apply the float of the curve to their attack power as a multiplier, and this would give you different values according to the level. But that's kind of an idea of how you would use the leveling system, um, and that's going to do it for this video. So if you learned anything new or you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as it does help the channel out a lot more than you think. And if you want to see any more videos like this, you can go ahead and check out my channel, or you can also join our Discord server, which is linked in the description. And there you can discuss anything game dev or Godot related, and also get help with your coding problems. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.